Your uh, one of your coaches is wearing a little foot uh, boot. What's going on? Yeah, he's uh, he, he's uh, yeah, um, yeah. He's got a little something with his heel, so he got a shot. I'm not sure if it's quarter or PRP. He's hit so. PRP. So he's going to be down for uh, seven to ten days or something like that. So we're going to have a revolving first base coach, but yeah, we'll, we'll, he'll be all right. Okay. So Kershaw Friday, Bueller Saturday. Correct. Which of the two Saturday? Bueller going to pitch at home or because your split squad's over here? I assume he, he'd stay home. So who, who, who are we playing on Saturday? You got the Rockies here. I forget. So, who. so he's playing at home. He'll, he'll pitch at home. Diamondbacks, Rockies, both NL West. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, I haven't made that decision yet. I'll talk to Walker and talk to Mark. But um, that's a good question. It's something I'll think about today. And, yeah. And he's the only one. He'll be the first one to go two innings. Correct. Okay. The fact that Kershaw goes Friday and Bueller goes Saturday. Do we read anything into that order? Um, you can read whatever you want into that order. Um, obviously, you're looking at off days and um, things can happen, but... You can make what you want with it. Are you looking for something other than just performance when you're picking between the two? Is there a lot of other considerations? Yes, there's a lot of other considerations. Yeah. What are you looking to see from Lux? With Gavin, um, <clears throat> he's continuing to grow. He had a great, obviously a great year last year. Um, he had a great winner. Uh, he sacrificed time at home to spend time in Los Angeles. Um, just getting familiar with the city itself. His body has really come a long way in the sense of just kind of into his kind of man strength and just the strength overall. Um, I think with Gavin, just continue to be comfortable you know, on a major league baseball field. And now when you look more micro, it's about just the defense, just continuing to keep tightening that up, which is which is really good. Um, in the box, I think last year he started to outthink himself a little bit as far as approach, mechanics, whatever that might be. I, I just thought that uh, just have more clarity at the bat. Just be consistent and control what he can control because obviously um, there's a lot to like. And um, obviously there's gonna be a lot said, expectations, um, questions about what's going to happen to him, where it's going to all play out, but just really focus on getting better each day. Throwing issues seem to be behind him, right? That's, that's last year. Non-issue, non-issue, and um, I think there was some talk about it the last couple of years or whatever, but, you know, to his credit, things are really cleaned up. The ball stays in the glove, there's an accurate throw in there, so, yeah.